In this video I'm going to show you how you can create autumn effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Thruel here and before we start the video let me tell you I'm going to use this image and this lives image from deventer.com and if you want to use the same images the download link is in description so feel free to use it. And to successfully create this effect make sure your image has enough amount of green leaves in the background and nothing else. So you can go to file and open any image you want that's simple and this is the PNG file you don't have to cut the background so that's easy. Now I'm gonna double click and unlock this layer this was unnecessary step but whatever. Now go to your adjustment layers and select levels. Now the uh, image is fine but it's a bit dark so I'm just gonna make it brighter like this so that seems fine okay awesome now we need to add a lens layer uh, I'm setting up things I will show you how to create the effect so create a blank layer and then select your paint bucket tool oops the paint bucket one here and then uh, fill in the black color after that go to filter render and select lens flare and select this third one 105 mm prime and then hit ok brightness is your personal choice and then change the blending mode to screen and then select your move tool from here and adjust it a bit up here seems fine now it's time to add the leaves so let me turn this down and select the leaves now I'm just gonna drag these leaves here and drop them here and hit ok don't worry about this box and just hit ok now those are a lot of leaves and we do not need all of them. So to get rid of the other ones uh, select your lasso tool, zoom in and then make selection of certain amount of leaves. Uh, this seems fine, uh, they are enough. And once the selection is ready right click uh, into the middle of the selection and select layer via cut. So it will put those leaves on a different layer. So now you can delete the original one like this. And now you only have this. Then select your layer 3 uh, like this and zoom out and press ctrl T. So you can make it bigger like this and then put them something like this and hit enter. Now right click and select convert to smart object and this option is only more than Photoshop CS5 or CS6 I'm not sure. So once that is ready go to filter blur and go to Gaussian blur and apply a bunch of blur like this. and a little even more and hit OK. So that seems beautiful. Now is the final trick. So create a new adjustment layer and select channel mixer. So where is it here? Now the leaves are green. So we are going to make the green 200% at its fullest and make sure the output channel is red. Now we are going to remove the red uh, like this and then remove the blue still like this. Now remember this uh, the more you uh, push it here the little less effective the final output will be. So adjust the slider however you like and once that is ready uh, click on your blending options and select lighten. So it will remove all of the necessary area and you will have a really beautiful autumn effect. Now this looks fine but we can make it even better. So select your uh, adjustment layers and select selective colors. Now make sure that you have selected neutrals here and then add a little bit of yellow. So it will give that uh, slight feeling in the overall image and not only on the leaves. So we can also see that she blends better with the background and also add a little bit of red. So that is fine too, uh, not that much. It's a personal choice. So now if I zoom in. And if I turn it on and off you can see that it gives it that slight feeling uh, of like overall output and then the vignetting. So create a new solid layer from here solid make sure it's black total black hit ok. Change the blending mode to soft light. Looks horrible. Now select your mask uh, select your brush right click and make sure it's 0% hard. Then uh, make sure it's black color and remove it from the necessary area like this. So if I turn it on and off you can see it's, it's affecting only the border. Now turn down the opacity to maybe like 30%. Now if I turn it on and off you can see the final output. 
wait a minute I forgot the lens flare so you know you can change the color of your lens flare select your lens flare layer from here you can see it's a simple white flare so you can go to image adjustment and go to hue saturation and select the colorized one so and then increase the saturation a little bit and then let's change the hue so you can make it match the background so now it's yellow and beautiful so if I turn it on and off you can see the difference so that's one more thing that you should keep in mind so that's it for today's video it was a quick tutorial because i found out that a lot of people love this effect and even i myself i am fan of this effect so that was also a reason and uh, if you want to watch a video where you can create a hazy soft light look uh, click on the right or if you want to create a look that you mostly say in fashion magazine click on the left or uh, if you want to get update every time I upload a new video, click on the subscribe button right there. Plus, you can go to my channel and watch more than 50 free Photoshop tutorials and nothing else. So, till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.